In the vast, star-studded tapestry of the universe, where galaxies swirl and cluster together in beautiful cosmic designs, there exists an eerie, yawning chasm, a place so devoid of light and life that it defies our understanding of how the universe works. It's called the Boate's Void, one of the largest and most mysterious regions in the cosmos. It holds a unique position in the realm of astronomical wonders. It's a vast dark void that stretches over 330 million light years across, a cosmic desert with a complete absence of matter. But why? Why does this massive expanse of emptiness even exist with a universe packed full of billions of galaxies? What created it? Is it growing? If so, how fast? Or is it something more sinister that is destroying matter and leaving empty blackness? In 1981, a group of astronomers led by Robert Kirshner stumbled upon something so strange and disturbing that it opened up a whole new set of mysteries for scientists to find answers to. They were scanning what they thought was a typical region of space in the Boates constellation, but found an area of space that was completely barren. They expected to find galaxies after all, the universe is filled with them, but what they found was nothing, blackness, a region so vast that it should contain thousands upon thousands of galaxies, yet, in this massive area of space, they found only 60. It's approximately 700 million light-years away from Earth. It spans a staggering 330 million light-years in diameter, making it one of the largest known voids in the universe. If living in the Milky Way is like standing in a bustling city full of thousands of people, then being in the Boates Void would be like standing in an empty desert the size of Arizona. The Boates Void is an inexplicable cosmic desert in a universe filled with massive filaments of galaxy clusters. The discovery of this void put into question theories and assumptions about how matter is distributed in the universe and left scientists with more questions than answers. It raises new questions about the Big Bang and suggests there is so much more that we have yet to learn. The observable universe is about 93 billion light years in diameter, filled with billions of galaxies clustered together in massive superstructures. In between these clusters, voids do form naturally, small ones, but it's the size of the Boates void that makes it so remarkable and so troubling. A void of this magnitude shouldn't even exist. If our Milky Way galaxy were placed at the center of the Boates void, we wouldn't have even realized there were any other galaxies in the universe until the 1960s. We would have believed we were alone in a black, empty universe. We wouldn't have seen any neighboring galaxies, no cosmic backdrop beyond the stars that fill our sky, just darkness. This level of isolation would stretch on for millions of light years in every direction, creating a deep sense of cosmic isolation. There are multiple theories as to why the Boates void exists. One theory suggests that this supervoid was formed by the merging of smaller voids over billions of years. Just as rivers flow into lakes and oceans, creating larger bodies of water, it's thought that cosmic voids merge, creating an even larger patch of empty space. But this explanation doesn't come close to providing an explanation that satisfies the scientific community. The Boates void is so large that the idea of smaller voids merging to form it would only partially account for its size. Another explanation is the speculation that it could be dark energy, the mysterious force that fuels the accelerated expansion of the universe. It could a place where a vast reservoir of dark energy exists pushing galaxies apart more rapidly than in other areas, leaving behind an eerie, growing empty black expanse. But why is so much dark energy pooling unnaturally in one area of the cosmos? Another theory suggests that the Boates Void is a natural creation based on the structure of the cosmic web. When the universe is viewed on a massive scale, we see a massive three-dimensional web of galaxy clusters connected by filaments of dark matter and gas. In between these filaments are voids that seem to naturally occur. The Boates Void could be an extreme outlier, a freak of nature. A place where the filaments of the cosmic web never formed properly resulting in a vast region of emptiness. Unfortunately, the incredible size of the Boates void makes this theory implausible, as the models used to create the universe as we know it do not allow for a void of this size to exist. 
Some scientists have even proposed that the Boate's void could be evidence of exotic phenomena, such as cosmic strings or domain walls. These hypothetical structures are thought to have formed in the early universe and could have played a role in shaping its large-scale structure. While there is currently no direct evidence to support these ideas, the Boate's void remains an open invitation for exploring the boundaries of our cosmological knowledge. But perhaps the most terrifying theory as to why the Boate's void exists is one that could spell the end of the entire universe. The reason? Strange matter. Strange matter is believed to be a highly stable form of quark matter that exists under extreme conditions. Quarks are fundamental particles that combine to form protons and neutrons, which make up the nuclei of atoms. Strange matter is created when quarks break free from their bonds and create a new type of quark, a strange quark. The most frightening aspect of strange matter is its ability to trigger a catastrophic chain reaction that could consume the entire universe. Even if a small piece were to come into contact with regular matter, it could transform the surrounding material causing an unstoppable domino effect, like a cosmic virus. We do not know what properties strange matter would have, if it would have the ability to absorb all light, creating this void-like expanse, as it converts more matter into strange matter. But strange matter is only a mathematical possibility and remains a theory. While we have some ideas about why this void exists, the sheer scale continues to confound astronomers. Its existence suggests that there are still vast unknowns about how the universe is structured and how matter is distributed across cosmic scales. A few theorists have pondered the possibility that the void could be the result of a highly advanced extraterrestrial civilization, a Type III civilization on the Kardashev scale, that consumed entire galaxies for energy, leaving behind a barren stretch of space. While this idea is purely speculative, it speaks to the allure and mystery of the Boate's void. It's a chilling reminder of just how much we don't know about the universe. Its vast emptiness stands in stark contrast to the crowded galaxy clusters and star-filled regions we're more familiar with. Could there be more such voids lurking in the far reaches of the universe beyond what we can currently observe? And if so, what do they tell us about the forces shaping the cosmos? What other forces are at play that we yet know nothing about? If the universe began with the Big Bang and matter spread out in all directions, why would such a massive region be so devoid of galaxies billions of years later? As scientists continue to study the Boate's void and explore the limits of our universe, it serves as a reminder that the cosmos is full of mysteries, some of which may never be fully explained. The Boate's void, with its haunting emptiness, is a symbol of the unknown, a cosmic enigma that reminds us just how small and isolated we truly are in the grand scheme of existence. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time in a godless universe.